Are you looking for senior care for your mom or dad but don't know where to start? Hi, I'm Jen London with The Place for Mom. Nobody knows your parent or loved one better than you, and nobody knows senior living better than the experts at A Place for Mom. They've helped thousands of families find the right place for their mom or dad. I was so glad that I called A Place for Mom. My advisor really listened and was truly my partner in finding senior care for my dad. She went out of her way to get to know him as a person and was always there whenever I had a question. The senior living advisors at A Place for Mom partner with thousands of families every month, listening and offering local knowledge and advice to help find the best senior living communities across the country. And it's a free service. Here's the number. Call A Place for Mom at 1-800-370-2715. There's a place for answers, A Place for Mom. Call today. Call A Place for Mom at 1-800-370-2715. That's 1-800-370-2715. Very serious rooster coming up. Do you need something to break the monotony till Friday? I got an idea. Try Tuesday. (laughs) Tuesday. (laughs) From the makers of Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Two, yes. two days in one. Yes, it's not the one day, it's the two day. The two day. And it is today, and we are Rod and Ray. He is Captain Chris, and we are live for the 422,637th consecutive time. Well. I say, good morning, Starshine. <laughs> <laughs> We still have the full moon. Hey, hey. Upon us in the sky, Careful. it is the buck moon. I'd give two bucks for it. It's the buck moon? It's the buck moon. And why, you ask, is the buck moon? Well, that is a phrase from the Native American Algonquin tribe. Oh, uh-huh. It That's refers in... to the first full moon of the summer. Really? And it's referred to as a buck moon because that's when animals that have antlers grow their antlers. Oh, I didn't know that. The Algonquin, that's upstate New York, I think, area? Um, New York and Maine, I believe, yeah. Also, the Farmer's Almanac noted that it is seen as the Thunder Moon because of so many thunderstorms Mm -hmm. and the Hay Moon. Time to cut hay. Probably, what, the first cutting of the year or second cutting? So many names, so little time. It always happens between July the 2nd and the 31st, and this time, ironically, it happens exactly between the 2nd and the 31st. <laughs> it's the well, 16th. There you go. So there you go. So that's okay. why t- it's a beautiful full moon, too. It's a big one. And for every continent except North America, we told you this yesterday, there is an eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse tonight. About 40% of the moon will be covered. Mm. And we won't be able to see it. And we won't be able to see it. You can actually see it on space.com or NASA TV. So there's a couple of goes there if you really have the desire to see it. Okay. It's just another eclipse. Just another eclipse. So anyhow, how are you this morning, Rachel Marie? Great. How about you? Oh. It's early? Yeah. Oh, no. No problem. Okay. It's Captain radio. Chris, there's people, ripping and ready to there's go. There's people that have to work for a living. I don't know how he does it. No one is more cheerful. And he's always awake. Always. You call him two in the morning. You. Uh, yes. What do you need? In fact, let's give out Chris's phone number. I so will kill we, you. <laughs> I will. I will look like an ISIS beheading video. If you ever do that to me, there's no delay that could save you from my wrath. <laughs> Three letters, Pally. I R A. Need I say more? 
Here's the first three letters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, now I'm going back to sleep. You woke me up from a nap. <laughs> How's that for being more funny, right? Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, I anyhow, told, I told Chris, you can you butt dial him any time, day or night. Yeah, let me get into that with you. But, How do you do that? All like I, I think I'm the, I asked our boss, who does not like his name mentioned on the air, but I mentioned that to him. I go, does Ryder oh, took a style you? I, I go, does Ryder t- took a style you? He goes, well, first off, I'm impressed that you know any Yiddish. And I go, well, you know, I know how to talk to the soup. <laughs> and then I go, you know, uh, hey, listen, does he uh, does he ever uh, do the Tuka style with you? He goes, no, never. I asked a couple other people in our organization, no, never. It's like I'm your favorite target. Why no, is that? Oh, no, I he, have he two has targets. one other. Uh, yeah, I have you <laughs> and I have my sister-in-law, Marianne. Who and he calls religiously no. about between 2 and 3 a.m. in the morning. No, but no. Yes, I'm telling yes. you literally, I've been there. I have put down my phone in the office and walked into the bathroom. Sure. And when I come yeah. back, it says Julian's mom. Sure. <laughs> you know I have been. <laughs> Julian, what's that? Julian's mom, don't even call her by her name. Just, hey, her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how in-laws are, you know, Julian's mom. Oh, who are you mom. telling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how it happens. It's not me. And I don't even have that much of a butt anymore. No, you really don't. No, it's not. I mean, like I look. I'm not going to lie. I look, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't help myself. I mean, Dear. you're so hot. I know, I know. He's an Adonis. That's oh. the reason I don't do TV, is because if I did TV, nobody would pay attention to my important words. They, they would, would just, just be ogling at, you. I'm more than just a pretty face. I'm Rod. She's the cutie pie Ray. He's the cutie pie Chris. And this is... The Cutie Pie Daybreak USA. It is a horrible scenario, but it happens. Dennis writes about his wife. She was diagnosed with leukemia. In fact, she's a two-time survivor. And in the midst of all that, they ran up over a million dollars in medical bills. Thankfully, they're MediShare members. And Dennis says they are so thankful for that, how others came together to meet their needs. And that's how so many MediShare members feel. This is not health insurance. It's different. You don't have to pay for things you don't believe in. And like Dennis found out, it just works. So if you join MediShare, not only do you save a lot of money, the typical family saves about 500 bucks a month, but you know where your money's going each month. You're helping people, and if the time should come, they'll be helping and even praying for you. So yes, it's different, and as more than 400,000 people now know, when it comes to health care costs, different is beautiful. Find out more. Call 833-34-BIBLE. That's 833-34-BIBLE. 833-34-BIBLE. Liberty Mutual Insurance presents... And Doug. Is that your pet, Emu? He's my partner, Lemu. And we're here to tell you that Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. So is he only an Emu because it rhymes with Lemu, as in Liberty Mutual? Well, I won't... So this is just a clever way to get people to remember Liberty Mutual, huh? Kind of. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Underwritten by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company and affiliates. Equal housing insurer. State laws apply. I weighed 329 pounds. I was a heart attack waiting to happen. I got Andro 400. It makes me not so hungry. I started noticing more energy. I noticed my belly was starting to shrink up. I started seeing weight come off. 80 some pounds. I went from 330 to 245. For a 56 year old guy to lose that much weight, it took something, brother. I feel great. I feel like I was when I was 35 years old. That was Ruben. Now listen to what Josh says about Andro 400. Well, I'll tell you, man, that stuff really works. It was insane. I've heard the commercials walk for a decade. I was like, oh, I'm just going to try it. My pants are like falling off. It really works. I bought suits last year for my new job, and they're falling off of me. It's insane. Guys, if you want to lose belly fat, gain energy, strength, and muscle, and look and feel years younger, try Andro 400, the safe, natural, and affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. That's 888-400-0435. andro400.com. 
Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Ruth, the conservative warrior. My show, War Now, airs every day right here on USA Radio from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm also the star of the Wayne Allen Ruth Show on Newsmax TV, reaching over 50 million homes. But my favorite role is speaker extraordinaire. I was opening speaker at many Donald Trump for president events. I speak at Republican, conservative, and college GOP events, and I'm available to be the star at your next event. Contact me to arrange for a Wayne Root keynote speech. Call toll-free 888-444-ROOT. That's 888-444-ROOT. Or email waynroot at gmail.com. Welcome back to Daybreak USA with Rod and Ray, and now it's time for this week's edition of AM. What's up 50 years ago, little brother? Well, Rod, our nation's Camelot years ended with JFK's assassination in 1963, and yet it was that same year, indeed the same day, in which the Beatles were introduced to America. Mike Wallace on the CBS Morning News was the first to report on Beatlemania sweeping the UK. The report would have been repeated on the nightly news had Kennedy not been shot in Dallas that fateful day. The nation was in mourning. Rod, you you probably remember. All I recall is Mom picking me up from Mrs. Kirk's kindergarten class. School was canceled for the rest of the week. In my first novel, Jay and the Americans, still available on Amazon and the AM website, I talk about the impact of those two simultaneous events. America's grief was, for many, the worst days of our lives. And yet, when two months had passed and the Beatles appeared for the first time on The Ed Sullivan Show, young people across the country knew that it was time to move on. They'd had enough sorrow. America's youth was allowed the privilege of happiness and prom, cars and girls, and the Beatles were the perfect catalyst to end our distress. And despite the war and civil unrest, kids in America found solace and togetherness in the hippie movement that led to the Summer of Love in 1967 and Woodstock 50 years ago. 1969 would end by shattering the idealism once again with the war's escalation of the Manson family and Altamont. But 50 years ago as we speak, we were still in the bliss of the age of Aquarius, flowers in our hair. There was a quiet revolution going on, and in the midst of the peace and love of flower power, that revolution went cinematic with the release of the ultimate road movie, Easy Rider. Easy Rider brought all the underground notions and views to the surface with the counterculture stripped to the bone. This wasn't Alice's Restaurant. This was hippie realism. Those of you who have already read my novel, Miles from Nowhere, know that Miles' journey is the penultimate road trip. I toss that word around a lot. It means the second best. The best road trip of all is Easy Rider. The search for the American dream is first and foremost at the core of Easy Rider, an outlaw movie which takes the spaghetti western and resets the imagery to the open road, uh, changes the horse for the Harley. Those brilliant western movie scores are replaced with Steppenwolf and the Birds. With Born to be Wild, the backdrop for the opening sequence, we find our heroes, Peter Fonda draped in an American flag and Dennis Hopper dressed straight out of the good, the bad, and the ugly. As I tried to do in Miles from Nowhere, the drug-addled scenes are disjointed and spacey, intermittent and imagistic. We're immersed in the psychedelic experience. Interestingly, the film's budget was a minuscule $400,000, a price tag that shot up another million when the heavy hitters in music from Hendrix to the band were added to the soundtrack. In that, it was the first film of the era to utilize what in a soundtrack is called found music, music not intentionally written for the film. It is the standard, of course, today that accentuates films like Guardians of the Galaxy or or Pretty in Pink. Easy Rider was released on July 14, 1969, and is being re-released for the big screen for just two days, July 14th and July 17th. 
See it as it was meant to be seen. And don't forget to get your copy of the other great road trip, Miles from Nowhere, available from Amazon and for your Kindle. Don't forget you can read more at the AM website, www.10-am.blogspot.com. Remember, you can get an autographed copy of Miles from Nowhere or Jay and the Americans at the AM website or read them both for free on Kindle Unlimited. See you next week, Rick. This is Daybreak USA with Rod and Ray. Everyone loves liberty, so why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Stop letting others tell you what to do. Call us at 855 58 Liberty for more information or check us out online at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. At Walgreens, we know that your day doesn't stop for diabetes. So when you've got places to go and people to see, count on Walgreens every day to get expert diabetes advice 24-7. Find all major brands of testing supplies like Walgreens True Metrics in-store and online. And download tools to help you stay on track, like our five-star mobile app with Pill Reminder. At Walgreens, we are your diabetes go-to. Stop by and talk to your pharmacist today. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-985-1813 now and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you a copy of The Number One Mistakes Retirees Are Making With Their Investments Today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-985-1813 now. Again, that's 800-985-1813. Employees of J.D. Milberg Financial have the appropriate licenses for the products they offer. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS and you cannot afford to make payments to the IRS, you may qualify for the CNC tax program. This is a new program, and if you qualify, you won't make any payments to the IRS while in this program. Once you're accepted into this program, the IRS is forced to stop all harassing collection activities. No threatening phone calls, no wage garnishments, no bank levies, and no more monthly payments to the IRS. Get ready to write this number down. It's the most important number you'll ever need to end your IRS tax nightmare. Call Paramount Tax Relief at 800-547-4804 for a free confidential consultation to find out if you qualify for the CNC tax program. Once you are accepted into the CNC tax program, you won't make any payments to the IRS while in this program. Call Paramount Tax Relief now at 800-547-4804. That's 800-547-4804. Again, 800-547-4804. Hey, welcome back, kids. It's 23 minutes after the hour. You know, sometimes I do feel sad for Melania Trump, the First Lady, and things like that, because a lot of people take cheap shots. I'm sorry. There's an article today in Business Insider magazine. Uh Uh-huh. And the title of the article is, What Would Happen If Donald and Melania Trump Got a Divorce? I don't think... That's not nice. That's not nice. It's not nice. There has never been a divorce in the White House. The President and the First Lady are one of the most stressful marital situations in the world, obviously. They're under scrutiny every day, ongoing speculation, and the White House has never seen a divorce in a presidential turn. As a matter of fact, they've never seen a split during 
a presidential term? Well, their handlers usually advise them against that. Well, yes. Well, even so, sometimes there are some things that you don't include your handlers in, and one of them would be that. Hmm. I mean, here, you know, once again, I don't want to, my my best friend in politics, you know, Hillary Clinton, the screecher, yeah. He or she had to be publicly humiliated with she her was. husband did, yes. And I think a lot of women at the time were also publicly, would have loved it if she left. We're all for it. I think so. And couldn't understand. Actually, you know, it's interesting. I think Hillary must have been the first public, uh, first public uh, uh, situation with Bill. That was, I think she set the precedence for women staying with their men, just like Bill Cosby's wife stayed with him until. Uh, until he went to prison, she has yeah, she since filed for divorce. Uh, but I think, I think Hillary set the precedence. Yes, but how and would no you one, react- women couldn't figure out why. How would you react? And once again, oh, it, how would I react? No, yeah, Stormy Daniels. Talk to my lawyer, Stormy Daniels. I got nothing left for you. Talk to my lawyer. I know what you would say. Her. Oh, and what a waste of time being upset with the, bless you, you. with the uh, other person involved. Yes, they were scum because they got involved in between someone's marriage. But on the other hand, yeah, we didn't even go into the fact that this guy married the other part of that. We didn't even go into the fact that this guy paid one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. We didn't even get into that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, no, it would no, no. See, I wouldn't be as uh, I, I don't know how Hillary stayed, but then again, she saw what I guess we women didn't see. Those of us who couldn't believe she was going to stay with him. Um, you're, you're back to Hillary. Yeah. Yes, back to Hillary. Um, she had political aspirations she had a, a motive behind all that or a plan and and she she was patient she and was patient course. she waited it out she did her time and then ran for senate of a uh, house seat or uh, senate seat rather in new york and got no, it. they never split up no Every, they never split up everybody told us the day after they get out of the white house how they're going to get divorced. divorced. Yeah, yeah, it never happened. No, I'm so sorry. I uh, uh, Only because, and not because of my public uh, personage or anything like that, and uh, pu- being publicly humiliated or anything like that. No, no, it goes much deeper than that. I'm done. Yeah, well, that's the... Talk uh, to the Lord. Now, I know it's a different level, and I know we don't understand what living in that kind of fishbowl is you and I kind of live in a fishbowl people know where we go on vacation what restaurants we like all these kind of things that most people don't know what other people like but these are oh see and I three of his marriages yeah he's had a prenuptial agreement well of course but this one there was an interview in which he said I'm not worried about a prenuptial agreement because this marriage will only last a couple of years anyway. He said that publicly. My word. Yeah. Now, at that point, you have to question what woman gets into a marriage with a guy who says that mm-hmm. so that you know that her concepts of marriage are different than the average woman. I don't give a lot of thought to their marriage. Well, I don't give a lot of thought to it either. The article came up that. But as far as is, being this present, is talk about the White in House media or otherwise. I got to tell you, I think we've always well, not always, but these days, 
I think we tend to keep a pretty low profile. People put everything up there. Oh, yeah. I had a friend of mine who used to put every time he would eat, and he weighed like 400 pounds. Every time he would stop to eat, he would have to type in what he had oh, and put when a you picture sleep, of it. When you breathe, when you blow your nose, no thanks. Rod and Ray are on the radio, Daybreak USA. 